Hi everyone, my name is Julian Tisato from Boreal River Rescue and in this video tutorial we want to show you different ways on how to carry your flip line or webbing. One of the most common ways to transport your flip line with you is if you make a, a loop with a water knot and then clip the carabiner like so, do a twist, pull that twist that you just made to meet the middle just like so and now this goes around your waist. Now know that if it's not tied to your body it will be dangerous. It could get caught on a branch or something. So the key point here is that you need to tie it to your body. Two ways to do it. One, you can shorten the knot. The other one is just if you twist it this way several times and pull as you twist okay now I put it around my waist and you will see how now my flip line is very nice and snug uh, around my waist you can see at the back you can see at the front the likelihood of this webbing getting caught on a, on a tree or rocks or whatever is a uh, very minimum if you compare it to my life jacket itself or even the skirt so very important make this flip line very nice and snug to your body the advantage of this technique versus other ones is that once i take my flip line off i already have a two-point anchor self-equalizing self-protected because i did that little loop around the carabiner initially Another key point on flip lines is that you always should use locking carabiners. It doesn't have to be an automatic locking carabiner, but please, please, please use locking carabiners to reduce the chances of this uh, getting caught or clipped in places that we don't want to. Another variation of this technique is if you tie two overhand knots at the end of the webbing, then you clip them to the carabiner and instead of going around my waist with all this webbing, I'm gonna grab one, one of these strands, put it over and pull to find the middle. And now I'm gonna go around my waist. Again, if it's too long, you twist it a couple times and then you put it around your waist making sure this is a locking cabin. The advantage of this technique versus the other one is that if you pull one of these knots out then you end up with a longer sling for different applications. Another technique would be making a roll with the webbing just like so and simply stick it in the pocket of your PFD. Now this technique has a um, few disadvantages one of them being that it will use all the volume of the pocket of your PFD. And the other one, especially for raft guys that are trying to get on the raft, um, the pocket sticking out is in the way. Some kayakers, they choose to make a roll like so and stick it between the tunnel of your dry suit or dry top and the skirt. So here, if I need it, just grab the carabiner pull and I can use my webbing. You could lose it this way, but generally it doesn't happen. Some people ask, uh, what's the right length of webbing that I should be carrying? Well, we recommend that first you build an improvised harness on yourself and then cut the way into that size and that's the length of webbing that you should be carrying with you. I hope you really like these videos and we're gonna keep on making content for you guys.